Uh, we've got a couple of really interesting topics coming up here with Dr. Sonu Alawalia, who is joining us. Dr. A, to most of you, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, this, uh, this very first topic, there are a lot of people watching this morning who take those much advertised heartburn drugs. Talk about that. So, um, uh, it is, there's 15 million Americans who use these drugs called PPIs or proton pump inhibitors, and it's for. Uh, Acid issues. Are so, these prescription drugs? Uh, they're actually give, o available. Oh, okay. Give us the brand name so people so, know. So Nexium, Prevacid, oh, okay. Pilosec. So oh you can, In other words, yeah. all the sponsors of the network newscasts. Yeah. Don't yeah. say anything bad about Nexium. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, well, well, pay so, attention then. So, the purple so, pill? So this doesn't apply to you. This okay. is for people who are um, over 75. Mm -hmm. um, and they did, they did the study to see is there any linkage between dementia and taking PPIs. And they feel that there is. Uh, again, not cause and effect, but association. Correlation. Correlation. And uh, it gives us a little bit of pause. Number one, to realize that over 70% of these prescriptions or recommendations may be overused. And a lot of these patients or people may not need these medicines and just with lifestyle modification may be able to help themselves. So if you have a mild stomach upset, you are led by advertising to immediately. Exactly. And, and that's the downside. There's an upside, mm -hmm. but there's a downside. And the downside is that any medicine that you take may have effects that we don't know yet, but are right. slowly finding out. So I sent my dad an email this morning to say, you know, are you on these? Mm -hmm. And if so, maybe you shouldn't be on these. Well, a lot of people have a big meal, yeah. have the heartburn, immediately yes. go pick up exactly. an Nexium. Exactly. Don't, don't, don't use caffeine at night. Avoid the chocolates. Have small meals. Sit up for a little while before you go to bed. In other words, you have to change your entire yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. you said people 75 and older. Yeah. What if you, you're using that stuff younger and then... So that data, Does we that don't. We, you? Well, we don't have that data yet. Um, you know, we're less concerned about yes. dementia for you right now than we are for but, somebody. But who's it right. doesn't to mean it doesn't apply. Right. It Correct. just means that we don't have that yes. data. Okay. But but this is a sort of a pause for our older relatives to just you know, if you're on it, talk to your doctor. Something to think about. I mean, anything you can go pick up in the drugstore just because it's it's over the counter doesn't mean it doesn't. Well, people come think with it's safe. Well, right? Absolutely. It's not only that. Anything your doctor prescribes to you, I wouldn't make the distinction. Mm -mm. Yeah, All exactly. of these things. But I think I think physicians also realizing that, you know, uh, is there lifestyle changes that we can recommend but to our it's patients? It's also a judgment guess, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it All is. right, now, speaking of taking pause, uh, as we go, go down the road toward the legalization of marijuana, there's a caveat here. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's now legalized in 23 states and, and D.C. Uh, for medical marijuana to be used. Um, and the question is, you know, we're all, you know, thinking this is amazing. Um, you know, lots of different things can be treated with this. And, and yes, in the medical community, we are very optimistic that it's going to head there. The problem is there's been no research for years and years and years just because everything was so illegal and it still is in federal sort of law. But we don't have enough research. So here's a study that came out recently that talked about how uh, marijuana could be a gateway drug. So if, and, and they studied people, um, you know, at point zero and then three years later, and they correlated these people, the people who are taking pot at least once a month, and then, you know, what else they're taking at three years later, and they found that you are much more likely not only to take more marijuana, uh, but other substances, other drugs, alcohol, and even nicotine. Was the study specifically for people taking it medicinally, or was it for people taking it in general, no, recreationally? Did not differentiate. I think that's a big. Correct. There's a big difference. I agree, and even even you know if you if you look at the the medical marijuana, there's still not consistency. How much are you taking? A lot right. of people overdose because they don't really completely and understand. And also, yeah. a lot of people it gives them relief from stress or whatever. Is that medical marijuana? No, no, no. And but, and so. You know, there's this sort of this blend of, of forces, the ones who want recreational and the ones who need it medicinally, and everybody's trying to push it through, right. but I think there's a lot of overlap. You say uh, as, as infrequently as one time a month mm -hmm. has this impact? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, so, aren't these just people, even if they weren't doing marijuana, would be, be prone to go in that direction anyway? Yeah, so, so there's probably some overlap in the circuitry um, where the drug dependence and the marijuana may overlap. And some people think it's not the marijuana, mm -hmm. it's the person. It's right. the person. Right, but, but you don't know till you do something, right? So if you're sitting there thinking, oh, you know, why not? Why not just try it? It's harmless. Everybody tells me there's no problem. But you don't know if your circuits are wired that way, that once you start on this well, pathway that, with that's marijuana. That's the thing. Everyone's might, wired differently, yeah. and some people have an addictive personality. That's right. Yeah, we've exactly. always heard that that's right. the gateway to other drugs. Right. So, again, you know, more information. I'm sure there'll be more coming, and we'll be talking about it. And you yeah. understand pro marijuana people are going to say, oh, this is just the government putting out stuff, right? Uh, you know, these are studies. Yeah. We're, we're here to discuss medical things.
<laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that what we're doing? That's what it okay. was. Okay, <laughs> Doc. Oh, I thought we just came in to fight. Okay. So thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. And by the way, do you like it? Yeah. Okay. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them why you have the beard. Uh, my girlfriend insisted. Oh. Go. Oh. 